This is the TAC visor, the day-night car visor that lets you see clearly without the glare. Does it really work? Let's check it out in today's review. So a quick overview of how this works. When I first put it on, I put it on like this, which is incorrect. Even though it, it kind of seems like it functions that way, when you pull it down, it's really reflective. It's like looking in a mirror. That's why I kind of tease that on my social profiles to show that the reflective side is definitely not good if you put it on wrong. So here's a clip when I first bought the tack visor and I put it on improperly and my reaction to how reflective it was until I realized later it was put on wrong. <sighs> All right, I just bought the TAC visor right here. Here it is. TAC visor, day and night car visor. It allows you to see clearly without the glare. You can use it day or night. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to get home. I'm going to open it right now and put it on and try it out. Yeah, that's it. Let's gently slide out the TAC visor. Oh, it's got two different panes here, it looks like. All right. Well, this reminds me of something in the past already. We've got a lens tester card. The exact same one as they had with the TAC glasses night vision, actually. We've got arbitration agreement and nobody reads. TAC visor instructions. Easy installation. Compatible with any car visor clips in seconds. Okay, position your car visor in the up position. Hold the TAC visor as shown in diagram A. All right, that's diagram A. Okay, installation is complete, exclamation point. Just peel off the protective films. Now I have to peel off protective films? Oh, it's like this. Oh, here we go. Go for the side. There we go. Uh, protective film number two. All right then. Oh, that's more like it. It's very reflective. I can see myself and I can see uh, I can actually see behind me with this thing. I don't think that's really the point of using it. But when I went home, I double checked the instructions and I realized it was on backward. So I put it on the proper way, which is like this. And then you can pull them down this way. So that's how it works. You pull down once for the daytime panel, push that back up if you want to get the night panel down here. In both cases, I'm finding a little bit of a problem with fingerprints which that may or may not be a problem for you. I'm a little bit OCD about it, so staring at fingerprints is not something I really like doing, but I'll do it for this review. All right, as you can see, the sun is being diffused by the clouds. There's kind of a lot of glare out here today, so let's see how the tech visor does in this kind of a setting. With the tech visor and without. I would say it does help somewhat. There is a slight reflection not as bad as when you have it on backwards like I did. You can see like this streak of light here. It's not too bad. I would say it's not unbearable. So that's behind the car, this reflection right here. I found that if you kind of tilt it slightly back, you don't really get the reflection as bad. As far as the glare goes, I think it does a pretty good job of cutting the glare. It's like wearing sunglasses, but you're not actually wearing sunglasses. I think if you actually wear glasses, this would be a pretty good alternative because that way you don't have to worry about trying to wear prescription sunglasses or wear sunglasses over your regular ones. And here's a pair of sunglasses. Similar, I would say. It's like, it's like having a pair of sunglasses. I also want to point out they include this tester card. It's the same one they had with the TAC glasses night vision. It's just kind of a trick to show you that it's actually polarized. Any polarized glasses would have the same effect, but that does prove that it's polarized. So that's good if that's important to you. What happens when you put down the TAC night vision on top of it. Oh, I don't know about that. It's a little bit dark and kind of yellow looking. Someone on Facebook asked how it does for short people. My mom doesn't want to be on a camera, but she did try it out for me because she's barely five feet tall. So I'm kind of simulating what she went through. She sits down here. And so the upper half of her windshield was tinted, but the lower half was not. So if you're short and want to use this, you really can't even rotate it down with the visor. Just It kind of just, it just kind of rotates it like that. It doesn't make it any lower. So if you're short, you may not get the full benefit of the tack visor. Another thing people asked about was how does it affect the mirror? Well, in my case, I really can't open the mirror unless I take the tack visor off. So then it depends on your car and how the mirror is laid out. But in my case, I'm kind of out of luck. Well, I should point out that the tack visor that you see right here does not look like the one in the commercial. The one in the commercial is probably just a prototype. In fact, this looks more like 
a product years ago called HD Vision Visor, which was a day-night flip-down visor that goes on the same way with a similar clip. In fact, look at the HD Vision Visor in this commercial. Compare that with the prototype of the TAC Visor here, and look at what we got. This looks more like the HD Vision Visor than the TAC Visor in the commercial. Very interesting. There have been so many TAC related products advertised on television recently. There's this TAC Light, TAC Light Lantern, TAC Light Pro, TAC Glasses, TAC Glasses Night Vision. They even had some test marketed items like TAC Belt and TAC Bat. So now with TAC Visor, they, they still kind of play into the military theme. I think they're kind of stretching a bit on this one though. This is a visor. They're trying to make it some sort of a military type thing. I don't know about that. But it is a little bit like the TAC Glasses and the TAC Glasses Night Vision in that it does block glare in the daytime and then it does reduce glare at night as well. Now I'm not really convinced on the night version of the glasses or the visor as far as really does anything but make everything yellow. In the daytime, I do see an advantage. The glare seems like it's reduced. It's kind of like wearing sunglasses and they are polarized. Now you might be wondering why I'm standing out here in this windy dry lake bed with a tack visor, because what a better place to try out for glare than this. Check this out. All right, this dry lake bed is one of the best places I can find for some glare. So let's check out the tack visor to see how it does with glare. Okay, no tack visor, tack visor. I think it does pretty good. What do you guys think? It definitely cuts down on some of the glare in this case. Now let's try it compared to some regular sunglasses. Like I said before, it's like basically having a pair of sunglasses you don't have to wear. It may not be perfect, but it definitely helps. Once again, there's a slight reflection, not too bad. Some people may not like it, some people may not mind it. All right, I'm here in Boulder City and the glare is nasty right now looking that way. It's, the sun is going down and I want to see how the TAC visor looks in this glare. I definitely think there's an improvement when you have the tack visor down as opposed to when you have it up in this kind of glare. Despite the little reflection, you can see my hand here, that will definitely be a problem for some people. Not necessarily me, but it's a trade-off. Do you want less glare with a slight reflection or no reflection and more glare? Something else to point out is that the sun is low in the sky like this, even though it does reduce the glare, you're still kind of getting blasted in the face. When you have a visor down like that, it completely blocks it. The other thing is if the sun's also a certain area of the sky and you're a certain height, you might get it peeking between that little gap right there. So there's a couple other things to consider as well. All right, so I picked out a strategic location here so I can see the headlights coming off the freeway, but I don't have to worry about driving while I'm filming. So. First, I'm going to show you with and without the TAC visor to see how they compare, okay? By the way, the windshield was cleaned as part of my original set of filming, but I can't use, so check this out. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a sports coat. Well, I'm going to UNL Vino tonight, but I realized after watching last night's video that the window on my car was a little bit dirty, so I wanted to clean it up before I leave because I want to give it a fair chance for the tack visor to be clear. So before I go, I'm going to get, be all dressed up and clean this windshield with the pain doctor. I don't really have time to clean the entire windshield. I'm just going to clean inside and outside where I'll be looking through with the tack visor. I'll clean the rest of it tomorrow. But I want to give it a good test. And this is the only way I can really think of doing it. Does this look ridiculous? I don't really care. All right, here's without the tack visor and with the tack visor. This is without tack visor and with tack visor. Do you really see much of a difference in glare? I'm not, I'm not really sure I do. I see a yellow tint. I'm getting fingerprints from touching it every time I bring it up or down. So I'm starting to see fingerprints on there, which that's not good. It means you have something else to clean. Let's compare the TAC visor to the TAC glasses night vision. Let's see how that looks. Choice number one, this is TAC glasses night vision. This is nothing. TAC visor. Let me zoom it in. All right, TAC glasses night vision. Nothing. TAC visor. Do you see a big difference? Let's see if I can do the TAC visor and the TAC glasses night vision side by side. Is there a difference between the TAC visor and the TAC glasses night vision? 
What do you guys think about that? I, I'm not seeing a huge difference. Everything looks yellow. I'm not even sure I like it better. It's very subjective though. Some people might love this. Glasses, nothing. Visor, visor, nothing. Glasses. These are the Night View Envy. They were advertised several years ago. Kind of the same thing as the Tech Glasses Night Vision. They're supposed to be night driving glasses that reduce glare. Very cheap though. They're very cheap glasses. Not much difference. Looks kind of the same actually. Tech Visor, nothing. Night View NV. I'm not, I'm not really sure I see a massive difference. Let's see how Bailey looks through the Tech Visor. Sit, good girl. I don't know if she likes that very much. She's, oh, she's, what are you doing, Bailey? I don't think she likes that very much with the tack visor. Maybe she wants the night version. Is that better? Oh, look at Bailey. You look more golden. So after four days of using this, I'm pretty convinced that the daytime version does a pretty good job of reducing glare. It's like having sunglasses without them being on your face. The night one, I'm still not convinced that that or the glasses really do anything. If you're short, you might have a little bit of a problem with a gap between where it comes down and where the steering wheel's at. That's the problem that my mom had when she tried it out. So in the end, I think if you install it properly, you'll find that it works as a decent alternative to sunglasses, but I would keep my expectations realistic. There is a slight reflection that might bother some people, but it might be a worthy trade-off to others. I picked up the tack visor at a local as -seen on TV store for about 20 bucks. Have you used the tack visor or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for more pictures and videos as I go. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.